Well, you're welcome to the Project Boxing podcast with myself, Don McGuinness, and Anthony Million Dollar Crawler, former WBA lightweight champion of the world. Does it still sound good after all these years, Anthony? It never gets old. Yeah. Well, it's fight week as well. We're just a couple of days yeah. to go now before William Crawler is um, at the new Co op Live Arena. He's very proud to say that he's going to be the first Manchester fighter to box at both the, yeah. the arena, the old arena, and now this new. Spanking new Super cold life. Arenas in Europe. Very, very same. And what do you expect from the best sporting city in Europe? What can we say, mate? I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. So there we go. So we'll look at the card at the uh, the new arena a bit later on. But obviously, and you know, again, you've had all the fighters coming and going today. Busy, busy yeah. day of training. But a couple of days ago, obviously, the weekend, there was a Friday night show. There was a Saturday night show as well. Sam Gillian actually on yeah. Friday night. Were you impressed? Yeah, I was. I was very impressed. Um, I thought he went about his work really mm-hmm. good, looked sharp. Jack McGann obviously took the fight um, at late notice, but you know, Sam was that little bit too sharp for Sam. Felt a little bit for Jack McGann, but no great performance from Sam Gillian. After that um, fight of the year contender with Louis Green, obviously he's just uh, stopped his air. I'm sure that'll get reorganised. Mm-hmm. That's the number one. Medway Mola. Louis Green, yeah, that's them too. Louis Green from it. No, it looked good. Um few really good prospects on the card. Royston Barney Smith was mm. well upset with Tommy Fletcher. He lost his unbeaten record, but he's with good people. He can come back. So yeah, no, there's some good fights and then on to Saturday. Mm. Um very polished performance from Adam Bazine. Um Louis Edmondson, um he was a favourite with the bookies actually and there's a little bit of controversy but I said I, I fought Dan Aziz admit it, but I can't argue too much. There was a lot of close rounds. There was a lot of close mm. rounds and he was I thought he boxed a very clever fight, you know, for the inexperience and that. And he, he dug deep as well. So uh, I'll we'll give him that. But um, I'll have to watch, you had to score it. Like, it, it, it didn't catch fire really, but he boxed a very sensible fight. Um, who else was on the card on, on Saturday night? Hennessy. Fran Hennessy, yeah. yeah. She, uh, she was entertaining. She boxed Shannon well. Courtney. Shannon Courtney, yes. You know, she's mm-hmm. done well to go back to the ring, but she was, was on the wrong end of a points defeat. Um, Fran, she, uh, I mean, with, with Fran, I never doubt her skills. She probably just needs that little bit of time to mature, mm. but she has got lovely skills. So very young, isn't she? Yeah, she's a baby, but no, she's uh, she lives the game, lives and breathes yeah. the game. Um, That's one proud father. Yeah, he it? was, yeah. he was, and so we should be. So yeah. we should be very much um, I family, isn't it? Yeah. So Michael, he fights. Um, I'm trying to think who else weekend. I know Sam Hicker, um his friends of the twins he's been here actually yeah. a few times he got his um, pro career started he's a very good prospect so no yeah he was at Tim Tazoo over in America he had a oh, damage that was feet, horrible he? yeah that was awful um, I mean he, he, he looked badly hurt yeah he did, you know, from he did. The first, someone the said first someone said time he went down know. Like, he was dabbing at that court I was like oh, I don't need to lose that time but no listen the opponent looked super yeah. didn't yeah. Yeah. Francis Ngannou back in action but not in boxing <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, no busy weekend, mate. Yeah, it could be the end of the road for um, O'Hara Davis. Yeah, he's your sparring partner. I've sparred with O'Hara yeah. a few times. Yeah, you know what? He spoke really well and fair pl- play. So uh, and the next day there's a nice picture of him. Anthony Yard was the one he fought. Yeah, he went the ten rounds. Uh, he what's it called? You know, there's all together having food. I think yeah. though originally from the Peacock, the old Peacock in Canning Town. So yeah, no, um, it's a good good weekend of action. Yeah, yeah, and this. Um, Episode is sponsored by the letter J. Oh, that's our letter this week. J. Uh, you know, when you think, uh, you're looking around some of the posters in this room, there's not too many journeymen. And, and no. journeymen's a description of, of a wayfighters, if you like, that can sound disrespectful. Yeah. It certainly isn't meant that, certainly not from what we're talking about today, because we're going to talk about journeymen. But, you know, obviously there's loads of cliches that of are thrown around about journeymen being, you know, the lifeblood of the sport in so many ways. Of course, they, yeah. They save the shows, the the Turn Come up last, last minute. minute. Absolutely. Uh, but, but, I mean, I know you've got your own thoughts on, on certain kind of road warriors and, and there are different types, if you like. There is. There'll be like a journeyman who might come in to, to fight, to upset the... I've got... There'll be journeyman who'll come to survive. There'll be journeyman who, like, sort of, you know, they'll survive a few hours and they'll throw a few... Yeah. Educate the prospects a little bit, in a way. So, you yeah, know, there's different types of journeyman, but... Um, there's some some fantastic journey like yeah. literally save shows, save, you know, prospects, you know, from going about a fight, stepping in at hours notice mm. and stuff like that. 
Uh, and I think if people aren't so au fait with, with the boxing world and they don't really know how it works, I mean, obviously you've got a lot of these away fighters are extremely talented, but could never oh, have the goodness. hassle. A, they didn't have loads of sponsors. B, they didn't want to be selling tickets. tickets. And they just didn't need the aggravation. No, they probably right. had a family life, busy, busy, sure. busy. So they just go on the road, but it doesn't mean that they're I not always, super talented. I always think of one, uh, probably the same year as me at school. I remember him in the charge in, in school, boys, and he would literally fight anyone. Mm-hmm. I remember him having a handful of fights and fighting a mere can. <laughs> And um, yeah. it's very rarely got he got stopped then. I mean, very got, very rarely got stopped and pressure on Willie Warburton. Oh, of course, Willie. What yeah. a pro! Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Oh, I always remember. Yeah, I always remember him turning over at, at Wembley. Box a kid, and I think it's his second fight. Um, a London kid. Oh, is his name? His name's got me yet. And he was like, you know, bit of a pretty boy, good amateur and stuff like that. Sold sold the place out basically himself for a four or six rounder mm. and a four won it. And then, oh well, he stood him on his head, George. George, for me, it was. But that that like that kind of journey, I mean, you you couldn't you couldn't put a debutant in with him <laughs> it, unless they had some about unless there was like a highly skilled, you know, amateur or stuff like that. Um, if you were oh, gonna if you were gonna make your debut against Willie, or if you're gonna go in against, you had some about well, yeah. Not only that, you wanted it to be on a small hall show because sometimes when the yeah. cameras were there, and he oh, was made so to watch well, it. That was exactly it. I remember then, it was on then the you could be in a right show. load of trouble. Oh yeah, yeah. no, definitely. Uh, I think I remember James Moorcroft before he was here. He said he boxed him. He said stood on his feet a few times. I didn't even mean it. If he just lost it for a <laughs> for his minutes, he stuck it right on me, and then he went back to start playing the game. But no, there is a different um, and stuff. And listen, I think the one that. Most well known amongst boxing people was Peter Buckler. Yeah, he was the first ever filmed a fight, wasn't it? Yeah, like crazy. I mean, if you remember, yeah. it, it's I suppose um, it would have you would have shared bills with the likes of Sid Razak. A box Sid? Of course you did. A box Sid. How, how many, when was that? How many fights in? Oh, oh, I can't. I know it was a few fights in with Joe Birmingham, lad, wasn't it? And uh, Sid, Sid was a good journeyman. It was a good journeyman, Sid, and uh, it's been the other way up. But Sid, it took up high, I think. You know, mm. didn't take too much punishment. Um, who else was there? There's was Sid. Max Maxwell. Do you remember him? Maxwell, yeah, of course. He, he had the he actually got a British title shot because Brian he beat Brian, yeah, so, but he could fight. And then well, yeah, he could fight. Then Brian beat him. Yeah, uh, when it's for the British title, got you know, he avenged it. Oh, there's like even like Sir John Bombo had lads yeah. fight him, and he'll took up, he'll took up with the last round. He'll always have a go. He'll always have a go. Yeah, there's what there's um, um, um Naim Ali from Blackburn. Yeah, Naim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, of course, good journeyman. Jamie Quinn is not... Jamie uh, Quinn. Jamie was a decent amateur. Now, but Jamie, you can see... Decent amateur and he could look yeah, after yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve Jackson. Yeah. Um, no, there's there's a few, Josh, you know what I mean? Josh Cook. Who's Josh Cook, seen defensively now Pennington, cute. Very yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. And then Louis Van Pooch. Louis yeah, Van Pooch yeah. is now a referee. He is, he is. He stayed in the squad. He was in yeah. um, the Boxers Hall of Fame of a week. Yeah, Pooch. Pooch, yeah. Fame, Pooch, yeah. Um, nah, he's a good lad. There was even a character there. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I remember. We've come back a few years. The uh, Jody Meikle. Yeah, yeah, of course. He was, like, was he called one Matt? Was he, was he Scarborough? Uh, Scarborough, yeah. I think he was yeah. from Scarborough, Jody Meikle, but it might have been. Yeah, no, it's like definitely... the one, not the one man, right? Uh, was it? Because I get confused I with Alex Matvienko. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well. Alex, 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 but he, he used to, he used to have some fun. Yeah, there, he, didn't he did. He did. Do you know what happened with him? I think it said on like the unlicensing on the Beaver scene or summit, and it find it every way. Like, we could look after himself a bit. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was good. MJ Hall. MJ Hall, do you know what? He's yeah. one of my favourite because he's a pal of mine, but like, he's boxed a few lads, but he'll always, you know, sort of assess him after it. And I always take his, mm. I always take his uh, opinion on board, MJ Hall. Dude, he's boxed Bobby really. Faulkner a couple of times. Bobby, he's boxed Bobby. He really yeah. rates Bobby. Well, yeah. as anyone who sees Bobby does. Yeah, yeah. but he really rates Bobby. Um, and I, I think that's a good touch. Do you mm. know what I mean? He'll get yeah. judged and he'll say to me, like, mentioning what he's saying. Oh, he said, I think he said. You know, not why he's built up to. He's like, he's good. He's good. And then yeah. he'll, they'll say, do you know what I mean? Oh, there's, there's so many. Do you know, when you look through. I remember, um, I mean, a few. I remember boxing, like, Carl Allen. He was, do you know, not... Wolverhampton. I mean, yeah, Wolverhampton. Yeah. I don't I remember hearing a bit of the podcast. I don't think he really rated me, to be honest. <laughs> Carl, no, honestly. Um, but, he, you know, it was. But uh, I will be honest, I, mean, I did improve after a boxing. But, um, he, do you know what it was? Scott Quick said the same thing. I remember years later, we started this conversation. Didn't really hit, hit me hardly. And mm. so Quick was the same. But he went, mate, he went, they had his punch up in him with Carl. And he went, 
mate, not in a disrespectful way, he was very, very slow. Like, he'd email the shots over. <laughs> but, mate, you could feel the, do you know what I mean? Mm. The, the, um, he carried some weight behind him. He couldn't half ball it, Carl. He was a good journeyman, good journeyman, Carl. And Jason Nesbitt was another one. Yeah. Like, like, he just took up, took up, a boxed him. Um, one point in the career, um, it's a lot heavier, but he, he could he could wallop, but he had the hardest head ever, I think, come crack an egg, but he was one a few times where he had knuckles on his head. But yeah, no, there's some from the past, but I oh, know there's a lot now, who, you know, just they do the save the spot. Could be here all day, but really, yeah, but... yeah. Well, let's um, let's move on to the co op live then this weekend because, um, obviously Jack Catrol is top of the bill with yes, pro great. Uh, again, we had a look at them last week. It was a, an early public workout, wasn't it? Yeah, there was. And, um, I mean, how do you, what, what, what do you reckon? Do you know that, what? Fight for Jack? Honest, uh, that, I, listen, I think it's a good fight. And on paper, the two of the biggest names in the division, there's no denying that. Yeah. I think it's going to be a bit cagey early on. You know, the first four rounds, I don't think, I think might be little spells of not many shots through, like a, a little game of chess, like a lot of fainting, a lot of fainting. But I do, I do think Jack wins and, um, he wins on he wins on points. Probably might even buzz Regis along the way, but Regis was a quality quality fight. I just don't know after the Haney fight and that is is Regis on the decline or not? I really you know I don't know. Uh, he's certainly confident, he's isn't confident, he? Confident, very mm. confident. Oh mate, he was a class fight. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. fight with Josh Taylor, which I mean, it could have gone either way. Yeah, it was that close, yeah. and Josh was unbelievable at the time as well. Uh, oh, he was a quality fighter. Obviously, he beat Terry from up the road. Yeah, um, Terry was a very good fighter, and Terry uh, Flanagan. Yeah, um, you know he beat him over in New Orleans, which was his own own spot. He beat him, mm-hmm. and yeah, he was good. For progress was a very good fighter. We'll see. We'll know a lot more how much he's got left this week. Still seems a shame, doesn't it, that Jack? His 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 fight. There's no belts on the line. For, no, for this one. He, he got his revenge on Josh Taylor, but there's no. There was nothing yeah, at the end of it, was there? It's a good fight. So it? it's, it's um, a, no, it's, it's yeah. a real shame. It is, it is, but I think, like you say, respect for him starts taking this kind of fight, yeah. keeps him busy. And it's certainly not a keep busy fight, but I mean, it's, it keeps him active. And then you'd think after this, surely it'll be summer. Yeah, so you think catch all points in that one. So if you look at yeah. the rest of the card, I mean, there's a really good domestic tear up as well in terms of, oh. you know, a guy that you know well, you know, his dad well. Oh, there's two belters. Mikey Gomez Jr. in against yeah. Reese Balotti. That's, which... that's a great fight, yeah. that. That really is a good fight. And, um, Speaking of Mike, he seems in a great place. He reached a lot in his team, the McDonald's, just the good people, yeah. the good boxing people. But no, Mike is going to be a long time. Ah, oh, he is, he is. He's mad, but you know he is? A nice kid. <laughs> he's a nice kid, but he's, yeah. he's, oh, he's mad as a box of frogs. Um, so I remember last week, I, like, there's a bit of boss. So I'm at the workout, but then before that, at the 5K, you've got that. You've got Campbell and Jimmy Joe Flynn. Yeah. Rematch. That's, that's Joe, really interesting, yeah, isn't it, for Campbell? Fans. Sand, it? No, yeah. it is. It is for Campbell, because you know what it is? And you've got to respect him going straight yeah. back in. Uh, because if it wasn't to go right, then it'd be like, I had these been like pretty vocal, and it was just said like, right, okay, so what, where do we go? Well, now, he, he, listen, he's, he's a baby, so you never want to write him off at that point. He's had a lot of pressure career. to do. Ah, he has, he has. Well, I like Campbell. He's a great, I think yeah. he seemed in great spirits with his dad, Ricky, at the public yeah. work. I know yeah. he's now with uh, Barry and the Ben Davison team there. But uh, he's a, what's it called? He's a... Um, He's a good lad, Campbell. And like you say, hopefully we can have two wins for both Manchester fighters. But listen, they're both in tough fights, do you know what I mean? They're both in genuine 50 feet. In fact, both probably the underdogs, do you know what I mean? Yeah. On, on paper, I don't think they are the bookmakers, but probably both the underdogs. Um, but yeah, no, hopefully I, I do really like the opponents. So but what, what do you think happens fight. in the Campbell fight then? I think he can get revenge, do you know what I mean? And, and listen, I, I know people say, probably, yeah, I am going to back both man lads, but I think he can. I listen. I think it'll be a tough fight. I think he would have had to have made improvements and seems to be speaking well and what he's doing right and mm. he's saying you know all the right stuff. So he goes in there, carries it out, then he's got a great chance to get revenge. But he's a uh, he can fight Jimmy Joe Flynn. Yeah, he, he feels more confident this time. And only thing what Campbell can't do, he can't. If, if it's summit, he's getting caught, but he can't revert to the old Campbell. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, he's got to be thinking, you know, very smart defensively this time. Yeah, so you're thinking Campbell points? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Think well, of maybe um, might lean to that or with, with Goldman. Mate, that's a tough fight. Reese can wallop, so do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, I do, you know, hopefully the pressure Michael will apply, little Mike, yeah, can get him in. 
So I've pretty much filled the fox hats to the market a few times, and a good handful of tight with the fox, and a good handful of fights for us. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. And it's now with um, Mike Jennings. Jennings, isn't it? yeah, he's a good gym there. Jennings, Mike, and Dave, good, good, um, good gym. Yeah, Mark Jeffers in that gym as well. Yeah, there's a few. always liked him. Yeah, Jeffers, so, yeah, so he's, he's, he's one of my favourites actually, Jeffers. Yeah, and you know, Mike, Mike's been there, done it, hasn't he? You know, he does. He's, he's, you know, he's, he's got a good man in his yeah, corner. Yeah. And, Talking through it, and yeah, you know, he doesn't give it a big and does he, Mike? Jennings, no, he doesn't. He's, he's a good he's, coach, he's a good coach, good Dave team. Well, Dave, obviously. not a good people again, good boxing people. Yeah, yeah Charlie fights in town. Charlie fights in town. Jack Cattle, yeah. Jack, yeah, he's from there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, who else is on the bill then? William Crawler against William Crawler, Lorenzo yeah. Grasso. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Will's calling this the Italian derby. Yeah, the Italian yeah. derby. It's Manchester versus London, really, but yeah, yeah it's, it could be. You could be in Italy with him too. No, of yeah. course. Uh, so, yeah, no, Lorenzo will, will come with ambition yeah. for sure. Six and two or seven and two. He's one of them. Yeah, six and two. Yeah. Um, and one of the fights he, he lost, it looked like Eric won. He just yeah. walked onto a shot, a bit, of compla- a bit too complacent. So, no, it's certainly on paper the biggest test of William's career so far. He's looking um, good in training, though. He looks really well. Yeah. It looks really well. He's improved an awful lot. It's, 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 First time he's out only six months. It's been a long yeah. time, a little bit frustrating, but that happens in boxing. The first fight fell through. No, he's just in here before cracking jokes when he left. Ah, that's fight. That's so, yeah, it's not, he's not in any mood for chit chat. No, is no, yeah. no fire. Just, just go away. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, can't bother listening. Not he's listening. nearly upon him now. Though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough, isn't it? Oh, this, yeah, this stage of the week now. Yeah, person, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Um, who else? <laughs> it's Steve Clark. He's on it. Pat McCormack's on. Yeah. Uh, Pop so Emily Whitworth making a debut. Yeah. Uh, Janine yeah, Foster. Yeah, Mummy, Kieran Farrell. Yeah. Um, I feel there is other people. Joe McGrail, that's the other one, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, oh, you're obviously going to see William having the arm raised, and then that yeah. would be 6 and 0 if, if he comes through that one. Is there any, without giving a game plan away, but what, what, you kinda, what are you thinking with Will in this one? No, he's just he's got to be switched on. Uh, Lorenzo's certainly capable. Um, I think he's he's got to, you know, he's certainly got to respect. He can't be, you know, he's had he's had four knockouts on the run now, but yeah. he can't be going in there complacent, thinking, looking for one shot. Because yeah. if he does, he, he could, could come unstuck. So he's got to be switched on. Might be times where he's on the back foot as well. Do you know what I mean? And um, it's, so we've ticked we've ticked all boxes and stuff like works on certain shots that we think will be there. And um, hopefully they will be on the night and hopefully he executes him. You think it could be five on the bounce then? Could be, certainly could be. It definitely is hard enough too, but yeah. Yeah. it's uh, like you said, they certainly won't go looking for it. Uh, both of you listen to me, but you don't always listen to me. As you like to do, Anthony, you, you like to scroll through your social media. Yeah. You, you like to have a little hero of the week every week. Yeah. And um, what's been catching your eye? Do you know what? There's some lad there. He just keeps going up on my search feed. I'm definitely not bad mouth for him because he'll probably turn up and have it with me. Um, <laughs> he's a uh, mate. He has about five fights a weekend. Um, ah, Luke, Luke. I don't know where he's the from. Scene. Yeah, oh, he's on the unlicensed yeah. scene. Yeah, uh, Luke Dyson. But he has a few fights a weekend. Him and his mate, I mean, his missus, just drive up and down the country and have a fight. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, I'm supposed to on the, it's a bit journeyman, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, but he, he actually comes for it as well. Sometimes, yeah. Um, he'll, yeah, he just come for it. But I mean, listen, I don't, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. Like mm. fighting a few times a weekend. Do you remember about journeyman the lasting yeah. effects? But. Yeah, yeah, Luke's, um, yeah, he's certainly a fighting man. Luke, that's, I'm going to I'm gonna have a look at him a bit more. I forget following him, actually, because he just keeps popping up on my feet. And I think, nah, this guy's fighting again. Yeah. It's his second or third fight of the week, of weekend. And it's going to get um, busy for you, though, isn't it? Because there's kind of a, there was a little bit of a lull over the summer, but now it, it this, this shows and every week, the shows are the next. Job, one show fell through, which was a killer. Cause yeah, Bobby Fulton was here on it, but. So I've got William this weekend, and I've got Robbie Davis the weekend after on the Friday night. The Saturday I'm straight into Birmingham with Owen Lavin. Yeah. And then and late November, there's a few. Uh, I'm literally, like, over the next seven weeks, about five of them. Mm. It's like good. That's what you want, though, isn't it? Of course it is, yeah. You want the lads to Keeps be everyone on the toes. And it's, um, yeah, that's all good. Right, well. Yeah. Um, anything else? No, nothing. Just fight week. We're yeah. looking forward to it. Okay. Hopefully I'll get asked a lot of questions and uh, people will speak to me yeah. and... Dressing rooms a bit can be nice and cool, I thought. Yeah, yeah it should be. 
I'm going to do the main fight on the radio, actually. Hmm? Doing the main fight on the radio. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Catch so you got your job with. done? Job done. So five live? Yes, five live, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, take a change of clothes. Yeah, it's it's ringside. There you go. Well, look forward to that. It should be a big night in Manchester. It will be. Look forward to all the action there. And thank you very much indeed for watching the Project Boxing Podcast. <laughs>